Hey guys, welcome to Indie Game Hustle. In this Umodeler video, we're going to take a quick look at the clone tool and the duplicate tool. All right, so the first thing I have here is a game object to demonstrate how it works. All right, so what we're trying to do in a way is to create multiples of something. In this case, we want to use the clone tool. So that's going to be in our add section and it's going to be clone here with this little icon here. All right. So what I'm going to do is use a disk tool, click the disk tool, and I'm going to create a disk here, just like so. So there we go. So we have a disk and I'm just going to hit confirm. Now to use the, the actual clone tool, what we want to do is have our object selected, select this, and then once we find the face that we want to clone, we click and then we drag. And what we're doing is now, as you can see, we're kind of cloning those particular, that particular space or those particular edges. And you can see how this could possibly be pretty useful, as you can see. So we can kind of increase it. We can do that sort of thing. We can change the distance like so. So maybe we don't want it there. Maybe we want to put it back kind of where I originally had it. We can increase the number between that distance and so on and so forth. Once we're done, we can hit confirm. All right. And so now instead of me drawing multiple circles across this plane, what I can do is now use the clone tool. And so now what we can do is select each one of these. and do whatever we need to do with it. So we can do a extrude that way. What we can also do is use the push pull and select it that way. And that's another good way to go about it. So say we just want to do that or every other one for that matter, you can just do something like that. That's pretty cool, right? And so you can think about interesting ways to model using this. Now that also applies to this way as well. So if you want to create something like this, you can go that route, but it, the choice is yours. But the goal here is to understand how those tools kind of play their part. All right. So the next tool we want to look at is going to be the duplicate tool. Now the duplicate tool, is going to allow us to duplicate a face, I believe. So let me see. I don't use this one that much. So I'm going to select this. And as you can see, it took that face and it duplicated it off. And now it left this the way it was. That's fine. But it allowed me to duplicate that face. So if that's useful during your modeling, definitely that tool would be pretty cool. So for instance, say I wanted to duplicate this face. I can hit duplicate and now we have that duplicated and now we can do all types of different things. We can, we can extrude it. We can do whatever we want, but the point is you understand how you can actually use that to duplicate the face. And that's pretty much it. Pretty short and sweet. All right. I hope you guys found that useful. Love to see what you guys are doing with it. I'll see you in the next video.